August 8th, St. Syriacus and his companions, martyrs. St. Syriacus is honored as one of the 14 holy helpers. St. Syriacus, born of a noble patrician family, embraced the Christian religion and gave all his wealth to the poor. He was ordained a deacon at Rome under Pope Marcellinus. Diocletian was the emperor at the time, assisted by Maximian. The later decided to build a beautiful palace for the emperor with magnificent baths and to make the Christians work at the construction. Among the new slaves were elderly gentlemen and persons of the highest rank, clerics and priests. The labor was hard and the food scanty. A Roman nobleman desired to relieve the sufferings of these laborers and sent four Christians with alms and encouragements. These were St. Syriacus, St. Senecius, St. Largus, and St. Smargus. They pursued their charities at risks of their lives, and they worked vigorously alongside those who were growing very weak. When Maximian heard of it, he had the St. Senecius and an old gentleman whom he had helped decapitated. St. Syriacus, however, was well known to Diocletian, who was fond of him. Suddenly, Diocletian's daughter became possessed by a furious demon, and she announced that only Syriacus could deliver her. Diocletian sent for him, and he cured her. She became a Christian like her mother, who is today St. Serena. A short time later, the daughter of the king of Persia also became possessed and cried out like Diocletian's daughter that she could only be delivered by Syriacus. A message was sent to Diocletian, who asked his wife to persuade the deacon to go to Persia for this purpose. He did so with his two remaining Christian companions and again cast out the demon, thus bringing about the conversion of the king, his family, and 400 persons whom he baptized. The three confessors then returned to Rome. There, the barbarous Maximian, hearing of their return in the year 303, had them seized, imprisoned, and tortured, and finally decapitated with twenty of their courageous Christians. Their bodies were first buried near the place of their execution on the Salarian Way, but were later removed to the city. As one of the fourteen holy helpers, St. Syriacus is invoked for help against diabolical possession, against temptations, especially at the time of death, eye disease, and the eyes.